Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I am back on the couch, but not my couch again. I'm still in Germany and today was a work day for me, which actually was pretty funny. So half of my work day I actually spent on this couch right here. I listened to music, so it was nice to be like able to work from home and do things and I was very productive so I'm very happy with the things that I was able to achieve today. However still I um, I felt like I can distract myself way easier than being at work at the office. The other half of the day, <laughs> well I was um, driving around with my dad, was visiting my grandparents because like my dad had to help them with something and also we went for lunch to a kebab place one of the places that I really went a lot of times when I was going to school and so we basically yeah ate there the last time I think I ate there I think like five months ago I don't think I went there during Christmas I, I don't know but yeah so I was still working while my like while I were at my grandparents' place and also while my dad was driving, which was very chaotic and also sometimes annoying because I opened like the hotspot on my phone to get all the VPN things running and due to German well internet, let's say it like that, it was sometimes yeah hard to connect to any internet. <laughs> well, the most funniest thing that actually happened today was when we went to the kebab place. My dad already went inside and made the order because I had to finish um, a certain thing during the working procedure on my laptop. So I was still sitting in the car and out of a sudden a friend of mine <laughs> passes the car. He looks at me, I look at him and I was like, hmm, that's awkward. <laughs> and then he came to me, we talked a bit and he told me, that he is he is late to go to school right now but he is not like he's not going to school to be like a student he is more on the learning to become a teacher part it's like an internship something and he was late and i was like okay well i think you should you should go to school then if you're late but it was still very nice to yeah have like 30 seconds of chat with him and the kebab was also nice, so that was a great lunch. Yeah, and that is basically the, the big thing today. Besides this, I was really thinking about talking about something big. However, I just don't feel in the mood to talk about it right now. And I think this topic should deserve a bit more quality in the video and also more planning and not just random talking. But... It has to do something with this. So if you know what this is, I will, yeah, I try to cover up all the things so that you don't get too many hints. But if you know what that is, you might be already know the topic. And yeah, but I have to see when I feel like talking about it. It's going to be very, very interesting for me in the future and you will understand why when I will be yeah telling you <sighs> okay besides this um, tomorrow is my flight at 12 I really hope the the airport the Lufthansa people are not striking anymore because this is like they started striking the evening I arrived in Munich and they will stop striking tomorrow morning like five hours before my flight goes so if if they already felt like oh yeah we just continue the whole day i might be screwed but i have checked in i have a boarding pass so let's hope it's going to work and i am really looking forward to be back in sweden um, there are a lot of things why first of all it is so warm in Germany and this is crazy because of course we only had like six seven degrees today but we had the sun shining and I was walking around just with a t-shirt and I was like oh that is that is a summer feeling 
<laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of looking back to wear a jacket and yeah, at least have some more snow for maybe a month and then we have a slowly change to summer. I really don't know how hot it's going to be in those areas where I'm living, but I'm interested in that. And also about the whole sunlight situation, because I have checked, I think in July, there are zero night hours. So you have like two or three hours where the sun has set, but it is only like very close under the horizon, so it is still very bright. And yeah, we will see how that feels. Yes, so what else? I thought like I wanted to say something else, but I cannot remember, as always. Ah, and then I remembered. One thing that I totally forgot to tell you with the whole banking thing is that I made or I opened the bank account fully speaking Swedish. So the person that was like, um, that I was talking to in the beginning when I made the appointment in the evening, um, she was able to speak English. We started in Swedish, but then we, I had to switch in English because I was a bit lost with certain questions. But the person later on at the uh, yeah, opening meeting, she was mainly talking Swedish and only trying to speak English when we really got stuck. But it worked. So I don't know if I made any stupid mistakes with not understanding right. Maybe I have ordered, I don't know, weird things and now I have to pay a lot of money. But I don't think so. And I'm really looking forward to receive money. Like, I really, really look forward to make my first orders, not orders, my first payments, transactions from a Swedish bank account. And not over wise how I did it, yeah, basically the last few months. And with that said, it is now time to say goodbye. Tomorrow is going to be a long, long day. I am already so tired. So I really don't know when I will be able to catch up with my sleep deprivation. Yeah, okay. So we will see each other tomorrow at the airport. Until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.